Hey y'all, let's clean up the dolls I bought on the Chicago trip. Wait, guys, before the video starts, make sure all of you go and hit that big red subscribe button and make sure you like this video. Also, if you guys want to see more content just like this, make sure you go and hit that notification bell so you see every time we upload. One more thing, if you like these videos that you're seeing here, we also have an Instagram in our description where we post photos and reels of everything that we do on our YouTube channel. So make sure you go follow us over there and I hope you enjoy the video. Let's clean up these three girls that I bought from the basement in Niles, Michigan on our Chicago trip. Um, I'm looking at her hair and I think that's been trimmed at the bottom. Um, so I may end up having to give her a little bit of a better trim. Um, but we're gonna give her a shampoo and see her hair's pretty dry on the ends. Um, and she's just generally dirty. All three of these dolls are uh, really kind of dirty. Her um, body is, is a little dirty. Uh, I think it has some stains. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to take um, her apart I'm just using some baby shampoo um, it's not it doesn't have a, a smell it, I don't like them to have like a floral smell so she's just getting a, a spa day a shampoo I use um, baby shampoo in that dish there is some baking soda with water and there's a magic eraser and I also use the pink stuff I don't know if you guys have heard of that. I think it works really well on the limbs. Um, my daughter actually got it to clean her uh, shoes with. So we had it at the house and I thought, oh, I'm going to try that. And it works really well. I've never used it on their face as far as uh, around, um, you know, like the color their, on their lips and stuff. I'm not sure if it would take it off, so just be careful with it around okay. any type of um, the face area. Alright, let's give her a good scrub down. Um, I like to do this with any of the used dolls that I buy. They just, you never know Fantastic. how they've been treated or where they've been. It's good to give them a good cleaning. And it's always very satisfying to see whenever you look at the cloth, the dirt that you have removed. <laughs> it's sometimes a little scary, but these really aren't that bad. I mean, they do have some surface dirt, dirt, but they're all three in pretty decent shape. I'm trying to keep, yeah, there's the staining on her body. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna address that or not. Probably will at some point. I need to get some uh, limb tightening elastic. I don't have that right now, so I haven't taken any dolls apart. But you can see the dirt coming off of her already. Very satisfying. Already looking better. Fantastic. All right, we're just going to speed this up a little bit as we move through. Since you guys uh, can see what's going on. Yeah, look at how dirty she is. Fantastic. The lady, um, this is the nonprofit. You can look back at some of our other videos where we talk about where we went to that store in Michigan while we were on our Chicago trip. Fantastic. And um, she didn't really clean. I think occasionally she would clean up some dolls, but I think she, she's she been doing it from 2016. And I think now she's just kind of, Fantastic. whenever she buys dolls, she uh, just does very basic care for them. She's got a pretty good blue spot on her arm there. I'm going to use a magic eraser on that and it took it right off, no problem. 
she's looking much better already it doesn't you know you can see some water on her body that will dry it, as long as it's not a major uh, amount of water it will not leave any type of um, water spots so it is okay you don't have to be hyper vigilant about not getting the body wet I think these dolls are tougher than what we think they are sometimes Fantastic. all right I do I am doing a hot water uh, dunk on her hair because it is so uh, dry at the ends so I have uh, got water just to boiling point and I switched that over uh, into the plastic bowl there just moving her around uh, don't get the wig cap in the water because obviously there's glue that's holding that wig cap on and if you get that hot it will melt that glue and release release that wig cap which is good if you're trying to take the wigs off um, I do use heat if I'm trying to um, remove a wig that is something that's very helpful if you get that glue hot it makes that process much easier we are giving her some hair care brushing that that water is not, I mean, you can see there's some discoloration on the water. It's not super, super dirty. I think we did a different uh, one later that her hair is like really, <laughs> her hair was really dirty. The water was pretty gross. Um, and I hate that we can't really wash the bangs that well either. All right, this girl is, um, she's kind of hunched over whenever you stand her up. She needs some more, I'm going to have to put some more stuffing in her. This is the number nine. Um, she was one of the ones that I was most happy to get whenever I was there. She has a little bit of issues with her wig on her bangs. Hopefully I can work on that. Fantastic. But she's getting the the pink stuff all over her body parts. Her body looks really good, I don't think. And and her limbs are fine. Fantastic. She stands up fine. Uh, I think for her, I'll just add some stuffing. And I think that that's all that we'll need. Just going over all of the surfaces. Getting rid of some of that Fantastic. dirt. She's already feeling better. You can just tell. And her face is, she had some dirt around her neck. Um, so she was pretty dirty still. She needed a good cleaning. There, I'm just taking some uh, warm water, just going over. Just have to be real careful around the lips and cheeks you don't want to remove any color factory color that's there Fantastic. she's getting her hair washed Fantastic. again just using that baby shampoo actually picked this up at Aldi's. Do y'all have an Aldi's where you live? I love shopping at Aldi. Fantastic. Expensive, uh, inexpensive yet quality. Alright, she's getting a good brushing on her hair. And then I always brush it back in place. Fantastic. Whenever you, whenever it dries, it needs to kind of be in the place that you want it to be in. I did not hot water dunk her hair, um, but after brushing, she did have some ends that needed to be trimmed off. So she's getting a little trim. And after her hair dries, I'll come back to that. I mean, there's obviously some pieces that need to be cut off, but after she's completely dry, I'll come back and at a later date and check her hair again. 
she looks pretty good. I'm just gonna sit her over and let her hair dry. Um, this is back to um, the first girl. She's getting her hair trimmed a little bit from her shampoo. Fantastic. You can see those really long pieces that need to come off of there. And again, I think she had her hair cut. I'm going to have to look at it closer after it gets dry. better already. Fantastic. Okay, moving on to the last one. Her hair um, is really dry on the ends. Kind of hated that I um, had to do the hot water dunk on her because you know those older Truly Me's have that kind of uh, curl that under curl at the bottom um, and the hot water dunk kind of took that out so I'm actually going to see if I can't add a little bit of curl back in the bottom of her hair but she's number 12 you can see she doesn't even have a body tag whenever I was originally Fantastic. bought her I couldn't decide if she was 12 or Gwen um, I bet she's 12 since she doesn't even have a body tag at all. For my research, Gwen has a tag with a specific number. Fantastic. But she's cleaning up really nice. She has a really great face color of her cheeks and lips. and She has nice lashes. Fantastic. I think she's the one that had the really dirty hair. All right, here we go. So I wrap her to keep the body from getting wet. And of course, be very careful if we're heating up some more water. And um, be careful not to get any water around her eyes. You don't want to um, cause any resting uh that's how they get the silver eye if they get water in their uh and just you know it's just not good for that mechanism Fantastic. so again just being careful not to get the wig cap in the water giving her a good brush so <clears throat> it was needed um but like i said it really kind of straightened out that curl on the end of her Fantastic. hair too to try and maybe do a uh low heat curling iron on the ends but again trimming off some of those little ends there and giving her a little extra spa area on her feet and toes she looks so good Fantastic. there she is look so much better already. I'm going to set them all aside, let their hair dry in place. Fantastic. One last brushing. All right, that's it. Thanks for coming along as we treat our girls to a spa day.